Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Gimmick. <clears throat> this is an interesting looking horror game. I found Shio that I think we need to do like data transfers on floppy disk. So this should be interesting. Let's check it out. Dear David, <clears throat> geez, sorry. Hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to you on behalf of our team. We're facing a critical situation in our lab. Sorry, my braiding's not the best day, and we require your expertise to assist us with a data transfer task. You have a PC in our lab that contains crucial information, and we need to transfer data onto a floppy disk for backup purposes. Okay. We believe your assistance will be valuable. We kindly request you to come down to our lab at your earliest convenience. The equipment and necessary tools are already set up. Thank you in advance for your assistance. Best regards, Peter. Uh, thanks, Peter. <clears throat> okay, so we're dealing with floppy disk. So obviously, this is not modern day. Um, okay, I know the message said a lab, but what kind of lab are we doing here? Are we in a mortician's lab? I guess that does, I guess that does kind of count as a lab. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah, it counts as a lab. <clears throat> Jeez. Like, uh, can I interact with this? I can. For newcomers to the lab, I would say there's nothing to be feared. You must try to convince yourself right from the start that we all fail. But I do have some suggestions on how to survive here. Firstly, have a good breakfast, because that's the only thing you are going to eat. Makes sense. Second, you should stare deeply into the abyss of failure and impending existential crises. So that's, so that's basically Tuesdays. Okay. Third, note anything you see, and even if there is nothing noteworthy, and finally remember to schedule a nap. From Peter. Uh, thanks, I guess, Peter? <clears throat> Can I interact with the body bag? No? What about the lockers? That is a no. Let's take a look around. Vacuum, gas cans, like a little generator area. Paint can? I'm guessing those are paint, even though it looks a bit like beans. Oh, well, here's a computer and floppy disk. Soft mineral. In order to transfer data onto a floppy disk, you need to follow these steps. Sit in a chair. Do not task standing like an idiot. Fair enough. <laughs> Turn on a computer. Box and left. Once the monitor is on, take the floppy disk. Insert the floppy disk into disk drive, click on a keyboard, wait for data to transfer, meanwhile I'll look around to get some coffee. I do. <clears throat> Once transfer is complete, remove the floppy disk and place it near one of the laptops connect to the main server. It'll highlight which one, do not worry about it, good luck and stay safe. Okay. Well, let me look around first before we do that. <clears throat> Ooh, vending machine. I thought I saw someone. Coffee. Do I get a coffee? Oh, I got a coffee. Very nice. What's this? Classified. Classified report alien alien autopsy. Classification level top secret. The extraterrestrial entity has unique physiological characteristics not found in other organisms. Its skin exhibits a smooth green texture, devoid of hair or external features. The tissue samples reveal a complex cellular structure with unfamiliar molecular compositions. The alien has a physical structure which resembles humans with four limbs, yet no sensory organs. Internal examination revealed a centralized nervous system, a single organ resembling a brain. However, examination is inconclusive. So this isn't like a, a normal lab or or a mortician's lab. This is this is like the basement of Mulder and Scully from X Files. Wait, hold on, wait a minute, that means the body back over here. You're telling me... There's an alien in this? Can I not open this? Seriously. I can't. Seriously? Okay, this, yeah, this is not a normal job, okay. I guess we're dealing with an alien in that body bag. I, I thought this place might be like a mortician's lab or something. Clearly that's not the case. Okay, let's, um, sit here. Uh, turn on a computer. Uh, floppy disk. Into here. There we go. I guess now we just go and do stuff. Can I call anyone? Can I call the men in black? Anyone got Will Smith on speed dial? Don't worry, I got the phone number for Mulder and Scully. <laughs>
Okay, everything seems normal for now, but I have a feeling it's going to get start going weird soon. Can I get anything from... Oh. Oh, the floppy disk is done. Okay, okay. Uh, it really is highlighted. Thank you. Okay. Simple and easy. Whoa. That from the computer? Sounds like it's coming from the computer. Oh, wait, no, no, it's radio. Okay. Let's go check on Mr. Alien Body over. Okay. Okay, did you have to do the piano chord there? Seriously? Also, that's a lung. I thought they had a, like a central organ that looks like a brain. That looks like a pair. That looks like a lung. Yeah, you know, like a pair of lungs. Also, there's a new one. Oh, sounds like the flop is done. Something strange happening around here. Peter seems a bit off. After the last autopsy, he claims that he can hear someone whispering and talking to him. I have a weird feeling that is somehow connected to our research. There are things that we do around here, which we cannot disclose outside in public. Maybe he feels that pressure. Yesterday he told me to stay late, and asked me if I was willing to do anything in order to keep this job. I was scared, but it's very important for me to have this job. Lab assistant. M lady, I would've quit. I would've quit. Okay, we heard the sound of floppy disk being done. There we go. Oh, keyboard. There we go. <laughs> you motherfucking green alien. Get your green ass over here. Cause I'm about to break your entire skull. Where did you go? Mother. Okay, I should. I, I will. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Oh, well, sounds like flop. This is done. We got one more left. Swear to God, if I'm going to get. Yes. Hello? I'm gonna be honest, Dave? Is it Dave or David, our character? I would have probably already left as soon as I saw the green alien appear behind me then disappear. Yeah, I would have already left. Like, it is not worth it at this point. Anyone gonna appear behind me? Oh, don't tell me I'm hearing something. I don't know what I'm hearing, but I don't like it. Is there something there? I don't know. Okay, sounds like it's coming through this door. Can I even open this? I don't know. It looks like the floppy disk isn't done yet. Ooh, I saw the light flicker over there. Okay. Is it done yet? Nope. Wow, okay, this one's taking longer than the others. Don't tell me he's inside the vending machine. What is this? Is this the body bag? I can't tell. I don't remember this being here when we first got in. What the? What What happened? What just happened? Did our character just go inside the body bag? What the? I don't know, but I'm freaking out. Okay, floppy disk done. Okay, leave that part. I, I don't think the alien's gonna let me leave, is it? I'm just saying. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. 
Goodbye, Mr. Alien, wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed your pair of lungs. Hi! Nope, okay. Yep. Ow. You should not reclassify files in a lab. Ending free. Okay, so just free endings to this game. And okay, so I'm guessing one ending we just leave without doing the floppy disk. And I'm guessing the other ending is... Okay, it says should not read the classified files. So what happens if we don't read the files? Do we get a different ending or is it going to be the same as this one? Well, let's find out real quick, shall we? Okay, so we got the last floppy disk and we didn't read the uh, file. So let's see if something happens if we just leave without looking at the file. Yeah, I didn't even go over to the body bag. It's still there. Like, I went straight to just doing the flop disc. Okay, yeah, different ending. Ending 2. You completed a given task, safe and unharmed. Okay. So, we got one more ending, because on itch.io page, it says that the game has three endings. We got third one, second, so... The first one, I'm guessing, probably just leaving the lab before we even finish the work. So, let's check it out. Yeah, what happens... Do, yeah, if we just, like, leave right now... Yep, ending one. David left the lab. It was not worth it after all. To be fair, I agree. <laughs> I 100% agree. Okay, so that is the endings for Gimmick. Not bad. Not bad game at all. It got me good at one jump scare to Alien behind me. Good atmosphere. I don't really understand the whole uh, title. I don't know why it's called Gimmick. Uh, maybe that's a reference something that I'm not getting. It could be. Maybe it's named like Alien Conspiracy or something I just don't know about. <laughs> but overall, not bad. I quite enjoyed it. Especially with the way they did uh, the atmosphere and like the subtle sounds. I could never tell if it was maybe like an alien or something. Or if it was a computer making the noise. They did that well. I liked it. Very short, very simple, but really good. I liked it. But well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.